All right, top eight versus Chowis. Let's do it. Best of five, no sideboard until game three. I know you just messaged me. Let's get started. I do have Shadow Glass Mage for that Geo deck. I am looking at that briefly. So now I'm turning off my chat. This hand seems weak. This is... This is weird. So, like, I get to go get a Fire Sigil on one, and then... Like, we have Double Heart, which is too slow, so we gotta try to find some action early. Kinda wish this was a hand with, like, Temple Scribe and Copper Healer. idea how good a turn 7 do nothing card is against a deck like this. Just waiting our opponent to actually start. Because we're allowed to start. Boom, look at that turn 1 efficient play. Gotta maximize all your mana. So you have one justice, double time, double fire right now. I'm not gonna represent a torch. I don't really want to cast torch. Until I see Chalice, I don't want torch. So he doesn't have green yet. And now look at that, we have the torch. Um, now the question is, does he have Alliance favor me? Alliance choice me? No, Alliance favor. I know about the choice. He does not. It's good for us. Why is he main phasing that, I wonder? I mean, there's actually a reason that he doesn't have to represent Desert Marshal, then. But uh, Titan. He does have six cards that actually kill this. He's not playing any Wasp, though. Which is probably a good thing for me. This is probably reserved for Kothan. If I can, but he doesn't seem to have justice yet. But he does have turn 4 chalice. Uh, because he doesn't have justice, I think I just want to play a parliament. It's the most damage I can put on board. Hopefully we can steal game 1 here. By him not having justice, so maybe he's on harsh rule. Because his list, like, Desert Marshal, Kothan, Vanquish, Combo Healer, Parliament, Harsh Rule, all cost justice. This is why I don't like the fire splash in Chalice. I don't think the knuckle bone spawn is actually that good. He did find it. Safe travel. And that's his other one, so. He could have the harsh which means I'm not committing anymore. Let's just get in for nine. And the next turn, we technically have lethal. But I suspect my board is gonna fly off the table. Or not. Banner. Kill the Amber Echoi. Attack for five. Oh, my defense was quite good here. If he wants to trade it with my Titan, that's fine. I will just fight another body. I need to keep pressure on him while still playing around the Harsh Roll. Which is really awkward in this matchup. I'm kind of hoping he has to play like a 4 drop here maybe, and then it gets um, Chalice or something just so he can get some points in. If he's casting Wisdom, that's not bad for us. Here's a question. Did it, his Amber Acolyte, he played a banner, right? So we don't know what he got off Amber Acolyte. I assume he got Justice, but we don't know. See if 
he wants to use like an alliance choice or a desert Think marshal. You can escape me. Yeah, when do you want a desert marshal? Him actually gaining five life is annoying. He's just jumping. I feel like he probably has a justice sigil in hand. So he wants to activate. He's drawn so many cards. What's the chance that he doesn't have a harsh rule? The problem is if I don't commit and he doesn't have harsh rule. Like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play as if he ha doesn't have harsh rule. I don't get harsh road in a good spot. If we get okay, I'm not getting harsh road. I don't think he got it. Maybe his Ambracoid didn't get what he wanted. So I can play Heart and High Roll. Heart actually kills if I hit Torch either way. So let's do this. All right. Well, I have to play. I think I'm supposed to go for the Heart Torch here. I hit something. Hit find the ways is fine. I get to deck then. Now he needs our rule, which maybe he either doesn't have the justice or maybe he doesn't have the rule. Either one. You know he's got to have both here. He has a lot of cards in his hand though, and maybe he's sandbagging the justice. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Are we cleaning up the board? Yes. Okay. So he's that one. If he plays healer, he is at a fine spot. Kothan isn't great here. Tell so he dies to Torch. So ping. Draw a new card. Right Not a Torch. Okay. How many Torches have we been through anyways? One, I think? Yeah. We have two more hearts in our deck and an Akaria, all that have burn attached to them, so to say. It's hard to actually interact with them. He doesn't play Wasp is the thing. Has he used an alliance choice? I think so. No, okay. Alliance choice. He has three of those. They deal with a, an Akari if you have to. No Wasp is interesting, though. Vanquish, sure. He's not activating, it looks like, so he's probably just going to Chalice. Is Kothan? Or not. Interesting. What else does he have? Ooh, a waste on his user. I can go for the high roll next turn. I can rise for it. I don't have a lethal rise here, right? Diago isn't lethal. I I can't cast her I can't cast Akaria. <sighs> yeah, let's rise. And I guess we get Akaria. It's the hardest thing for him to deal with. But heart is guaranteed, actually. Yeah. I'm getting heart because he could just play, like... He activates this and he chumps buck with the Kothan. Anakaria can't fly here. Close your eyes. Yeah. Listen. That's fine. I needed an extra power. I need that, like, a turn later, so... Now you're alive unless I find Torch. Question is, is he gonna activate Kothan? If he doesn't, then this is gonna feel bad. For like the sake of I could have a car yet. I think Heart was better. Heart also draws me a card which is relevant. something. 
I could vanquish this, but I don't really feel like I need to. Just do this, I guess. Need a torch. Need burn. He has Gloomy Defenders. He has Combat Healers. He has... He's actually been through all of his defenders, so how many healers are left? There's one on the board. He's, b he's only been through one. So he has three healers left in his deck. He has some amount of Temple Scribes. He has all of his Temple Scribes left. And I have a heart, kind of an Akaria. I mean, I also could potentially get Lethal on board here, guys. I can attack. Attacking's a valid thing. Didn't attack last turn because he could just do this, so it wouldn't matter. Herschel? Deck. One time. He doesn't have that much life gain, so it's not like I'm under a ton of pressure. He's already chalice this turn, which means any threat I'm not vanquishing at. We need to stop whiffing though. These vanquishers are very bad to draw. At least we didn't draw a harsh rule, but that's gonna come eventually. He can just channel me twice. Potentially. That might be what he's going for. There's a desert marshal, he lives through Diago. He doesn't beat Torch either way with any of the cards on his list. He might activate, I don't know if he will. No. Right. Uh, power number 12 doesn't matter. Like, the number does for Parliament, but the amount doesn't. Because I just rise for Kaya, that's 11. But it has a desert marshal. I think that's the only thing that could be a pause here. Yes. Thank He's getting a clock on the board. Yeah, we've had triple heart, but we just needed to actually get through, and we could not get through this game. In theory, I could have went for Shadow Glass, managed to kill with the Chalice, but the damage was already done. He's channeled twice, so. Uh, three times. Am I dead? No, I'm at, I'm at two. So I have one turn. He has no way, like, Alliance Choice doesn't counter Hard the Roll, and it doesn't counter Torch. So, oh, come on, deck, one time. I guess Harsh Rule, well, he probably choices that if he has it. Well, if he has it, he does, obviously, but. No attack. Playing around Diago. One time. Okay, do you have choice? Yes, he does. Okay, we're dead. Alright, vanquish this. And then we have a turn. Yes, channel we die, but I mean, that would require him drawing channel four channels in his top 40 cards. Going for it though. Take wing, my friend. One time. I have four things to kill him, right? Where let me play my heart. Jesus. Yeah, we didn't drop well at the end there. Drew mostly power. Alright, let's go again. No sideboard in game two here. We don't do that in these parts. I'm the aggro deck in this matchup, and now uh, we're power scared, most likely. Well, 
wonder how much power source is he plays. 29. 33, so he plays one more power source than me. Playing four cars. I'll see who that is later. But whoever it is, thank you for the follow, dude. Welcome on in here. Damn it. We're gonna need power. Specifically, we need time. He might be only two colors here, he's casting wisdom again. Alright, we're stuck on two in our 32 source deck. We might have gotten a two power hand with a find the way. But it was just so slow, I'd be playing the game on like turn six and I'd still need to draw more power. He still doesn't have time, but like, I don't know if that matters. It's not one of them that we wanted, but at least it lets us cast Seraph. We needed one of them that gave us time. He has all of his colors. Safe travels, friend. I find it funny how this deck actually supports four colors. It's not the source we want, but at least it's a source. I bring you aid. Yeah, we've already played this match where we've drawn power screw into um Give me a second, I'll do words. Uh power screw into no time and a time heavy hand. I feel like we already played that game. Bonnet doesn't appear to have chalice, but he has the ability to cast it if he did, so no permafrost in his list means the Seraph actually is just gonna walk for a while. I guess we're we're gonna need the shadow glass. We're gonna need to be able to beat um we're gonna need to be able to beat him. His chalice. I think I'm just supposed to cycle here a bunch. Try to get to the cards that matter. He's drawn a chalice yet. That's, that's good for us, but like he can just channel us if he it's has it. Right I think I'm gonna save this for Kothan, because I can lose a, Koth a game where he just casts Kothan. And activates. But I can't respond to the activation, I guess. It's really I wanna right cantrip here. more. And I guess he'll play Seraph. I bring you aid. Right he's still here. missing the channel, but it's the chalice, but he's just gonna draw cards until he finds it. So I need to find like a mage or something. That's pretty good. And the question is, do I start working towards Iron Thorn? I think so. You run far Theory I could attack with both Seraphs, but then he'd just give me like Amber plus double Temple Scribe. His pause here, I believe, is only possibly Desert Marshal. I guess it could be Wisdom, but he'd obviously use it. Although he has a lot of cards in hand, he could use it. And I think he would. Vanquish on that's annoying. But, like, something has to get vanquished at some point in this game. Uh, I'm gonna hurt his 2 1. Draw power. Attack with the 3 attack with Overwhelm, and we have Torch. If he just blocks with his 2 5 and takes 3, well, I guess we'll scribe. Cast our fourth scribe of the game. Those are, you can excuse me, it doesn't Marshall. So you make your blocks. You could just go two five two one in front of one, and just no blocks on the other as well. Which isn't a bad decision. It just puts everything in front of this. Okay. I'll kill desert and a one one then. I have no damage left, right? Alright. It's not how math works. I would just scribe. If he doesn't draw Chalice, so I think we're just a better mid range deck. He's gonna draw one eventually. 
Tell me what yeah, he's mean. just gonna activate. That seems fine. So I'm gonna vanquish one for sure. I'll vanquish the flyer. Torch the 3-3. Three, three. Attack for 6. No he has 4 cards in it. I realize this is probably the most boring match you guys have ever watched me play. I'm not going to commit because he chump walked. Because I mean, he might just want to harsh roll me. Especially like if he has multiple. I just want to get one out of his hand. Okay. I don't care how he walks. I guess it's like if he goes a lion's choice, kill your 6-6, six, six, then block your 3-4, four, take 4, like, that's fine. You don't want to make my Okay. If he's gonna do that, I think I'm allowed to commit a little bit. Um, I guess a Titan. It can test his board. He has a power enhancer. There's two cards in his hand. I'm wondering, one of them might be Harsh Roll, so... I think I'm just A-spacing until I either lose or win at this point. I don't care about him taking Temple Scribes out. He's playing very conservatively. Safe travels, friend. I'm wondering if he has the rule. I know mean, if he blocks Amarok he goes to two. That's pretty good. What do you see? Yeah, I don't think there's any consideration there. Yeah, we'll torch this, we'll attack with everything, and then I guess we're gonna have to commit like a titan. I mean, I believe he showed me out of power. No, he, that was last turn. So, like, he can double block my titan, and I'll take out the 4-4, and then he'll take 7. He can also just block two things and take 7. And now, I'm gonna play titan. And if I have to, Desert Marshall into turn, depending on how the math is working out. Whoever that is, I apologize that I cannot actually respond to you, but thank you for the follow, dude. Welcome on in. Parliament? Sure. Maybe I harsh rule this board. Yeah. I harsh rule this board, I guess. We could have a Lion's Choice. So I think I'm not supposed to attack. Yeah, let's find out. Does he have choice? He doesn't. So let's play two four four owls. Close your eyes. Listen. Okay, he doesn't have it. Alright, let's we're one and one in this match. Let's go to game three of five. I just bring in all the threats. <sighs> this is why I hate Chaos, by the way, guys. The games take so long. Happy we only have to play against this deck hopefully once a day. Opponent did fight out pretty hard though. And didn't draw Chalice, which is what the deck's built around, so. Okay. Play this. Play 
this. And let's go to game three. This is good. This is quite good, actually. So we get to turn one banner. Uh, that's a random thing to send me, but... sounds quite good. We have good temple cards. You have an answer to Chalice, which he doesn't really have much for. Alright. He's back. So what does he get in this board? He gets Permafrost, maybe Protect. Eye of Winter's good. Rain is good. He said he might bring in Knuckle Bones, but I feel like he's just trying to psych me out. They might have brought Rain in, because I am technically a control deck. It's been right here. Or at least I'm registered as uh, FTJ control. Um, let's grab a fire. Play the scribe now. Double torch is okay. Diago is probably going to be a tempo threat in this match. Of course, let's see what he does on three. We don't know if he has a time source yet. We just know he has a. Okay, he's power screwed. This is turning out to be a pretty shitty match so far. But, I have to be smart. I'm trying to win a tournament. I can't show sympathy, or sympathy. And, uh, I gotta try to put this game out. Tell me, what do you see? Attack for six. I'll torch this later. I'm getting three damage instead of two, and I'm being mana efficient. Here's the question, I I don't know if this game's over, but if he had time, how much does this game change? I'm just gonna kill this and attack. You can't even fav uh, choice any of these, and he didn't have a 3 drop. So he needs actual, he needs certain power as well, he needs time. Uh, so my eyebrows just went crazy. Cool. Not really happy about it, but I'm up to one. This match. I wonder if he brought in the knuckle bones. Come on, Hans. We're playing as Chalice here in a best of five. Like, mm, let's go again. We really want to be on the play in this matchup. It helps you out a tempo perspective, and I am a tempo deck in this matchup that just happens to play expensive threats. Sure, it's slow. It doesn't have green, but it has really good cards. I don't think I consider mulling this hand. our green source. Diago Ultimate is one of my best ways to beat this deck in my opinion. It's He's on right two. Here. He has a power in hand. We don't know if he has his colors. We're not there's zero reason to speculate right now. We have no evidence to go be, go on. Question is what do I play next turn? And it depends on what he does obviously. Ooh. That's not what he wants to see. I know he has a power in hand. It's not what he wants to see. I would have liked that last turn, obviously. Um, a lion's choice is a lesion. Right? No. I 
my shorts just hoover. I think it's a hoover card. That genuinely impacted my decision there, so. It's written right here. Because he can't vanquish me. And he's only on two colors. I'm just gonna temple him out then. With as big a thrust as I can play. I can't play my heart next turn, but like. And this effect is irrelevant, by the way, guys. It's just a body that's bigger than every creature in his entire deck. That's the only reason it's in here. It even contests Combray Healers with seven. Uh, with seven health, so if he chalice them. He found a green source. Does he have, like, an Amber Acolyte? I think he would have played it by now, but... Yeah, he says access to choice now. Waystone is pretty good. Um, play Diago here and work towards an ultimate. Problem is, this is gonna help him with his power big time. Like, this is getting him for seven, or he's chumping. So, an argument for me doing nothing on this board. I don't think I wanna play Diago. Let's see if he wants to play around Torch. I shouldn't have played the power first, though. Because now I can't hard the vault this. I can beat a harsh roll, so I'm gonna do this. I bring you eight. I think I can beat a harsh roll at least. Power off top. It doesn't help him for harsh roll, but it's a power he doesn't have to draw. Healer is good. What's he targeting? Okay. And Kothan. Kothan's quite good. The one of we left in. Uh, I think we do this. Discovery for the ages. Yeah, we left one harsh rule in. I didn't really want to draw it, but we have one in. I'm quite good. Like if he just activate activates Kothan, we're in, not in a bad spot. We're not in a great spot, but we can still do it. I right, drew Chalice. That's quite good for him. Kothan is now big. I need a Shadow Ross. If I see Rise, I'm going to get it. Torch. <laughs> that is ridiculously good. What a turn. I'd rather kill Waystone here. I'm trying to kill my opponent. This card's not actually that great here. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I had to. I had to get that out of my system. I haven't reenacted the Chattergoss today. We're currently... So I have a game to lose. We are 2-1. Which is good. I don't know how good this Kothan is. Like, if he just activate Kothan, what happens? He gets a... a a 4-4, four, four. he has his 4-5, and I just ace face, ace space. Ooh. You have another Tell power? Me. What do you or see? You... Okay, you have another chalice. That's our fire. He hasn't shown me a second justice yet. Jumping. Surprised he's not gonna. He doesn't have torch. Maybe he blocks like his two three here, and then he eats my or blocks Diarco. Or if he's gonna bank on drawing harsh roll, I guess he wants to leave this here, and then he trades. No, this is the most damage if he's trying to just say, "Well, I'm gonna lose the harsh roll anyways." If that's what his plan is, is that one? Or we'll go get a fire source, and then we play heart next turn. I think we win. I can beat a harsh rule here, so I think we're I think we win. I think we're going to the semifinals. Opponent didn't draw very well in our matches. Safe travels, friend. It's a turn late. I don't know if he needed justice or if he has the harsh rule or 
But we have we have we have a burn spell. Alright, 3-1. We beat Chalice. 